of practical demonstrations with the background and some sort of numericals as well. So for today's lab work for fluid, we are going to have some sort of uh, playing demonstrations with viscosity. So viscosity is nothing, it is, it is just a resistance to the flow. One may say that a honey is more viscous than water. So that's, that's the reason because the viscosity exists. It is the resistance between the molecules. So honey and water, there is a great difference between that of the flowing, if you pour both of them. So we are using today's is redwood viscometer to sort out how this works and how to find out the viscosity and either it exists or not. Hope you will enjoy. Let's go. Viscosity is increasing. 
that it happens actually let us if we go further these are the molecules of gases we are we are very very far away each other and if we provide temperature so they could excite it and they could collection they could collide and behavior with each other and then when they collide with each other so viscosity increases surprisingly there is a very little or literally inverse between that liquid and gas in the area remember our core principle is that that we are not going to have gas in the area uh, examination but a fluid or liquid in the lab demonstration so remember that with the increase the temperature there is a decrease in viscosity so for observation uh, we are going to have demonstration as well we have a red road viscometer if we use that and we will like to have plotted graph that viscosity is decreasing with increase in the temperature and with the decrease in the temperature viscosity is again gaining its position so observation is or uh, temperature time with kinematics kinematics is the viscosity and for the for from the very edge of that uh, of phrase we i am going to start from kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity we already know that it is v equal to a t minus b by t okay we know that now what is time taken we will know that we have a stopwatch you will realize that and a temperature with a thermometer and other uh when you take instruments to find out the temperature temperature not that that no kinematic viscosity we know at the end our target with this graph so remember that greater the velocity greater the viscosity so lesser is the temperature so let's have uh, some demonstration uh, i to have some practical demonstration and i will i without wasting any time i am going towards the viscometer and this type of viscometer is red viscometer So let's discuss the parts. It's a uh, aluminium type of red viscometer. For the first of all, going to the from the right side, it's a button which is going to tell us about the temperature. It is a sterile digital analog has been put it on. This, if you can show us this type of a hole, is a cylinder which we are going to put our liquid. Either it should be a honey or it should be a oil. This is the water bath inside. Here it comprises of a water bath. The basic principle is going further to that uh, portion. Basic principle is that here it comprises of a water bath and a oil to warm up it up and to plot a graph between temperature and their viscosity. As we already told you, that viscosity is inversely proportional to temperature. Greater the viscosity, having a lesser temperature. Le greater the temperature, having a lesser viscosity and vice versa and vice versa. So, coming back to the data. It is a main switch to on and off for the temperature arrangements. It is a stirrer. Here it is a ball ball. One may it's a ball ball. And so all in that we are putting a temple here. It is a drain ball. There it comprises of a cylinder or a machine beaker. Milliliter gauges has been shown here. Remember that one liter is equal to thousand milliliter. So and there it comprises of a drain wall as well. And every time we need it, we also need a stopwatch and a thermometer to you, you to compare the temperature between the two standards. So here I am going to take one liter of water and put it in a water bath like this. Make sure that it's accurately measured. Some sort of so one liter water has been put in in the water bath. So arranging the temperature. Shortly, we are going to see it 23.4, 23.5, 23.6. Simultaneously, it will rise to a 30 degree. 
so that we can provide a, a sample of our uh, targeted uh, sample uh, of minimum and a optimum temperature. So water has been put it in. Now I am uh, going to take that uh, dishwashing liquid because it's already showing some viscosity here. So comparison of that viscosity with the temperature, I am going to take this as a sample. And the temperature is rising when we say that 23.5 and it's now 23.6 and it's rising constantly. So here it comprises of some sort of viscosity and so let us take it uh, 20 millimeter. It is 0 0.2 meter. We have must close that node and put our study sample. Now it's a 25 milliliter sample has been placed and the temperature is rising with 25. It was which started with 23 and now it's about 25.2. It's rising constantly. Water bath is providing heat to the sample of dishwasher liquid. And we are going to observe the behavior with the increase in the temperature, viscosity of that sample may decrease. That is the principle of that experiment. Just putting on the stir button, it will inform the history of the heat here. And we are nearer to over 30 uh, degrees. You may see that it may have take about 5 to 6 minutes to wait for the 30 degree, and that's it. And then we are going, it will automatically stop, and then we are going to have the flow here. For the flow, we are going to measure the time taken by our stopwatch, and we have a stopwatch, and then time temperature. And for that, from that, I have also already discussed the formula of kinematic viscosity, which we are going to find out. Uh, so we remove the ball wall and to find out the hair of viscosity. Here the time has been started. And it's filling, you may see the behavioral change. Now in a seven, 18 seconds, I have noted, I have collected about 10 milliliter water. We have to note it down and again the temperature is going down. So let's go ahead for 28 degree and 27 degree behavior. 10 milliliter has been observed in that 18 seconds. So number one uh, our observation has been observed at 30 degree. Now coming to 26 degree. So definitely lower the temperature greater will be the viscosity. We have seen the behavior at the 30 degree and at which 10 millimeter has apparently been gained with an 18 second temperature. So again we are going to remove the ball wall and going to find out the volume as well as time. So definitely volume volume will be lesser because of the greater viscosity. So let us remove the ball wall again. And it's again it's the flow is very slow, you may see that 
at 26 degree the flow is slow because of the grinder and the temperature is all and the time taken is also greater so going to the 20 it's taking a much time because of the lower lower pace while higher viscosity and we reach again at 20 and I am making it back with the ball ball closer so 46 degree temperature has been noted with a 20 milliliter volume with the time taken so in our conclusion now we have this type of red viscose meter apparatus has been uh, partly instructed with this switch may mean switch on or off still to uniformly distribute the heat and to rise the temperature instantly. This temperature is only to calculate the temperature and to find out this 27 degree with 27 degree comparison and the preciseness of temperature. This is the drain wall, this is the uh, beaker of the uh, calculation of in milliliter. Measuring tube may also comprise in liter but they here we have a milliliter and always remember that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. In an inst instrument I have also put it a 1 liter in a water bath and recorded the measurements. Firstly it at 30 degree uh, to centigrade our flow was very quick. Abruptly we have uh, obtained a 10 milliliter of height with very less time and on the second end we have a greater amount of viscosity so it reaches 20 in a very long time as compared to previous one and a temperature taken was also greater so for observation i would uh, further do in a paper thank you so for the calculation and observation of the redwood viscometer we would firstly have already discussed that we would find out the temperature in a time and by putting these values in the formulae to find out the kinematic viscosity we have already a constant of A and B so T is the time and lower T is the temperature so by putting these all values regarding each temperature and time the kinematic viscosity of first shear number has been plotted out and similarly a second so from that observations we can easily see that the viscosity is increasing with the decrease of the temperature. Decrease of the temperature, the viscosity has been increased.